Oh, hello, you insouciant long pigs. It is I, so I you on, coming at you for another Transformers Transformation Review thingy. Yes, we're taking a look at the much maligned Rodimus Prime. I have reviewed this before, but I thought I'd do it again. Um, especially my new styly. Yeah, the much maligned Rodimus Prime. <laughs> and this is the, this is the, I think it's the early re release? No, it's, it's the later release. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the space flaming Winnebago of love. Because what is this vehicle? Uh, apart from a Winnebago, you know? Um, it, it, it doesn't scream leader to me. But, I mean, the original toy was um, Protector. Because I think the original premise was um, Ultra Magnus and Galvatron were the new leaders. But for some whatever reason, they changed Rodimus Prime into leader. Now, Rodimus Prime, Galvatron stands much taller than him. And it's a much better toy. But there we go. Um, yeah, so there's Rodimus Prime. Um, we've got some detail on it. Uh, these are toy hacks, by the way. Um, not spawn, but if you, because when I got this off eBay, um, I think I paid about eighteen quid off eBay during the lockdown, and yeah, I got a fucking fantastic deal. Um, except the stickers are all peeling off. This 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 was applied wrong as well. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. No, nothing under there. I might get the upgrade kit where it says chosen one on his license plate and you get lights and that plane. But other than that, that's it. That's your lot. There's not much. You get some nice chrome on the uh, smokestacks there. Um, does this rub symbol work? I'm not having much luck for rub symbols today. Let's have a look. No. Yes, um, so that's it. That's all it does in this mode. There is, no, I mean, you do get some weapons and stuff, but they don't connect in this in this mode. Um, yeah. So let's take him to robot mode, shall we? So what do we do? Is you just disconnect him from there. I'm just put that to there for now. Yeah. Now you can see where this is going. Now the original hot rod toy is a very good toy. This is isn't. So you pull his feet down like that, and we're nearly done. <laughs> then we come to the top here and then we um, push him out like that and then we just pull his arms out and now these are particularly tight so you just sort of there we are we got these out like that uh, and we do have a copyright on this one when was this when did this come out it says 1988 there can't be right let's have a look I can't even see that and I've just realised the lighting on there we are um, 986, there we are, see it now, uh, yeah, yeah, so there we are, so you pull your arms out, and then you rotate this section around like so, then you pull out these little bumps, and you pull all this section in, it should fit in there like that, that's it, then you come to this section at the back, now, you're supposed to take the, the wings there, and put them there, right, this is a very common lost piece. I've seen loads on eBay uh, missing this bit. And it's supposed to look like that. Yeah. Right. It's supposed to look like that. I think that looks a bit silly, quite frankly, at the top there. So what I tend to do is leave it on this one there. And it's not quite so in your face. Uh, I think it looks a bit better like that. So it's still there, but it's just not... Because this, this, this whole thing is just too big and it's very straight it should be a little bit more pointy you know pointy out that way um but yeah i remember my cousin coming around my house one back in the day because he had rodimus prime and he lost this bit um and then he was not allowed to come bring his transformers ever again <laughs> so yeah like i said you're supposed to put it on on this one here but i think it just looks a bit stupid it's a bit too big so like i said i put it on this one here Thus, and it just makes it look a bit better, a bit more proportioned. Yeah, so, and let's take a look at Rodimus Prime, shall we? And let's take a look at his face there. He, bless him, look at his head sculpt. It's not good, is it? it looks like he just woke up <laughs> with a hangover. It's like, what the fuck was I drinking last night? <laughs> um, it's nicely painted, though. Nice blue eyes in there. Um, yeah, nice chest, nice... Um, you know, fire on his chest there. Nice stickers there. Some on his legs there. Yeah. Um, 
he isn't a good figure. He's too he's too lanky and tall. Um, he does rotate 360 at the shoulder, but that is your lot, and it's hindered by the back piece there. And he does come with quite an effective pew pew. Um, it's almost like a double barrel. It's almost like a shotgun, really. With a, you, you pump in uh, action there. Um, and he can hold his gun quite nicely. Like so. And he can pew pew all day. He's pretty good. But that's it. In terms of articulation, you can't do anything with his legs. Um, but there we are. So we'll just put him over there. And we get the trailer. And like all Prime should, his trailer transforms as well. So what happens is you just split it down the middle. Well, when I say transforms, I mean just opens up. So you split it down the middle like that, lift up the gun turret like that, and then you extend the gun turret up as far as it'll go, like so. Then you get these pieces. Again, another um, element that's uh, routinely lost on these things. You've got two, the two sided as well, and they're both left and right as well. In fact, no, I think they're both the same, I think, either way. No, there's a def definite left and right of them, which is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, these two are both the same as that, but the, the, these bits are a definite left and right, which is pretty cool. And they just slide into these um, sections here to like form blast shields, like so, like that. And then there he is with his double-barreled um, trailer blaster. Um, this goes up. Oh, that's a good click, isn't it? But it doesn't click backwards, which is weird. It can go down, it can go up a little bit, um, and it can rotate, I think. Yep, there we go, it rotates on the thing in there. And then you can put Rodimus on the back. In fact, just before we do that, you've got a little bit of detail in the back here. You've got um, all these pipes and conduits in the back there. You've got some diamond plate, some more details there. And you've got like, some more like, power conduits and uh, pipes and stuff in there. But it would be nice to have, you know, like Optimus Prime, you know, with a picture of the new Romulan neutral zone for some reason. Um, and you can put Rodimus Prime there as well. And he can man his gun. And it's on a little moving thing, which is quite cool. Yeah, poor old Rodimus Prime. There have been better figures over the years, but, you know, even the the... the Oh, what do I call it? Looking right at it. The Power of the Primes one is better. Um, the Siege one... No, is it... No, Airthrise one's pretty good as well. Um, yeah, so I don't have the Airthrise one. I should really rectify that. Um, yeah, he's not... When I say not bad, I like it, but it is pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, compared to how good Optimus Prime was, and compared to how good Ultra Magnus and Galvatron are, this seems like out of... Very out of place. Um, I think, I don't think you can connect his gun to the turret. I'm just going to check, because there's a, I've just noticed there's a port there, but I don't think it'll fit. It goes on, but it don't fit. I mean, it would be nice. I mean, it would be nice to stick it on somewhere. I suppose you could just, no, rest it. Uh, one limitation about it all as well is when you transform him back to vehicle mode, so you've got to take these off. Right. So you... you there, slide that down, push that down, and into there like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is nowhere to store these, because when you close it up, it's a very tight fit, and they just will not fit in there at all. So you, it wouldn't fit, it's a, and it's a, a massive shame, because these things inevitably, inevitably get lost. So you couldn't put it in there, and then close it up, because they just don't fit. I mean, it it should fit in there. I mean, it's, it's definitely got a place to fit. I mean, if you moulded it in, that you could fit it in there. But yeah, it's a bit, you know, half assed is, is the best way. So I'll just put him back into his cannon mode, like so. I mean, it doesn't really matter which side these are on. You can have the sort of the crosses there, and then you can have the, the slats there. It really doesn't matter, quite honestly. Um, yeah, and then there is Rodimus Prime in his robot mode. The much maligned Rodimus Prime, G1 Rodimus Prime. <laughs> so there he is. Um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you like what I do, hit like, share and subscribe. Uh, according to my uh, analytics, about 70% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Hit subscribe, takes two seconds. And hit the notification bell to turn uh, notifications on. 
It'll tell you when I've got new videos. Should be every Thursday and Saturday. And the occasional TFN video when I throw it in there. Um, check out my Patreon if you're in a position to help out the channel. Please do. Uh, big shout out to all my Patreons. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.